woman says she was attacked by an angry ghost, according to her claims, her spiritual paranormal experience. A woman who believes the ghost attacked her has called in the services of a psychic medium to cleanse her home. Yeah, that's what you should have. You should have an exorcism prayer over your home. You never know what has gone on there in the past. And now I had one of my viewers a couple of years back comment me because I had uh, posted a, a video on the prayer for house cleansing and um, in the Christian Orthodox tradition and uh, the prayer over holy water that's done in the house by the priest. And uh, he told me that uh, he had experiences in his home where every time he went to go to sleep, something would be pulling his legs and throwing him off the bed and he would land up, land on, you know, it was, it was a not at all pleasant for him because this is something that was forcing him to uh, throwing him off the bed onto the floor. And he was lucky enough because he was renting the house to buy, so obviously he moved out. He found out that his house and his cul-de-sac was built over a Native American burial ground. So it could be that one of these uh, ghosts, these spirits, was uh, because of that reason. Now anyway, going back to this 21-year-old Leah Lewis, who lives with her mother in Stratfordshire, England. We know England has a lot of um, haunted houses because obviously things were going on. But uh, even uh, I had asked one of my father confessors, I said, what was going, what's going on there? He says it could be because of what was going on there with demonic entities being attracted to a place where magic was being performed. Now, uh, Leah Lewis, 21 years old, living with her mother in Stratfordshire, England, believes that she was attacked by an unseen supernatural entity while she was taking a shower. She recalled, I did not feel anything at all until I saw the scratches when I was drying myself. I told my mom and she said, I think we need to contact Ian Griffins, the psychic medium. Some of Leah's colleagues have speculated that the ghost could be that of a hostile and aggressive man who was murdered in the local area and may have followed her home from work. Prior to the attack, she had also reported seeing a tall, bald man leaving one of the bedrooms in the house, as well as experiencing the presence of a man breathing down her ear. Oh, that's, that's really, really terrible. Anyway, she, a poor girl, she also heard the, sh the sounds of someone rummaging in her mom's wardrobe, yet nobody was there. Okay, that is definitely a haunting. That's a uh, poltergeist experience. Now, she says with her own, uh, with her now being physically harmed, uh, I thought enough was enough and I needed to do something about it, said her mother, Colette. She says, I asked around my friends and they asked their friends and I got quite a few recommendations for Ian Griffiths, the mother said. And Leah said, when Ian came to our house, he was able to describe my brother's bedroom in detail and he hadn't even been in. He went into my mom's bedroom and went straight to the wardrobe and said he could sense activity. He confirmed everything we had experienced and then he passed the man over to the other side, end quote. Now, whether the visit will truly signal the end of Leah's experience, however, remains to be seen. This is by Stoke Sentinel and uh, concerning ghosts, hauntings and, and of course, uh, uh, poltergeist. This is on Unexplained Mysteries. Please leave your comments. Thank you for your support. Kindly support my Patreon account. The daily posts are five videos daily and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box below.